Not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. Gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on... Botched. Botched. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, people. <laughs> Fucking terrible. Use it. So, uh, we cause a landslide that crashed into a village. Sure. And then we, uh, we found a horse and carriage, opened her up and dropped some shovels in there. And broke it. And some pink smoke and things. And then we found a cave. And there's a mass production of robots. There are just robots, robots being made. <laughs> And there's spider robots, <laughs> human robots, <laughs> maybe small, small vermin robots. All right, welcome back to Botched. Uh, this is the 16th episode. A little bit of information before we get started. This will be the final episode, for now anyways, um, for Maria, a.k.a. Podito, so... Yeah, Maria. Podito! Moving away, so... So, we're gonna start off right where we left off last time, then. The parties entered the mine. They just peered into the mine shaft. Um, they have a set of tracks in front of them that kind of goes forward, but below them is a massive open cavern with uh, hundreds and thousands of robots. Or robots, if you will. So, you can do with... What you want from there? Perception check, move along, whatever you want to do. I'll do a perception check. <laughs> Let's just <Okay>. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Eleven. Someone else's problem. Yeah. I'm out. Eight. Vorin's combing his, his fingers through uh, uh, Nigel's hair, <laughs> just going, ooh. No so nice. hair. Picking out lice and fleas. No, no. Just... No, no. no, no. Like a I don't chin. have lice and fleas. Let's find out, shall we? I, I got a 22 to look you for license You totally fleas. have license fleas. Mm. I'm picking them out. 97 says you have license fleas. Are you are eating them? No, I am throwing them away. It's a waste, waste of protein. protein. Throwing them at waste people. people. Pestilence. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Aaron nice Dull to meet you. notices with his perception Ew. check that while there is this big open cavern, it looks like there are set chambers and things like that where other things are going on. And it also seems that at the bottom, to the far back, there is a enclosed space where um, it seems a bit larger, and it seems like there's a lot of activity going on around that space. Are there people down there, or just do, do we see people, or just the robots? You see or? no people. You just see robots. Robots! Are there robots building other ones, or just um, the... Can I figure out okay. how to make some sort of electromagnetic pulse? Sure. It's <laughs> intelligence how check. How would you even know what that is? To figure out how to make an M- EMP. <laughs> because he's a prepper. Uh, 15. <laughs> he's, he has he's a basement full of snacks of and things. <laughs> so Arundel is convinced that if he can fart at the right frequency and slap his ass cheeks Beautiful. together simultaneously. Is that a constitution roll followed by a yes. next roll? Yes. It's okay. a reverse brown note. Roll, roll your con. No, 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 just wait. Of Let's course. just let this play out. No, no. I want an action before this. 23. You shit your pants. <laughs> 23 crit fail. No, it's not a crit fail. You created this vibration and sound effect where you shit your pants, but it causes everyone else in the party to feel a little uneasy, a little queasy, if you will. Do we have to con check then? Yes, everyone needs to do a con check to see if they too shit their pants, because Arundel may have discovered the brown noise. With his ass. Yes. (laughs) The brown note. I got a five. <laughs> oh, okay, Poto shits herself. <laughs> I got a six. Nigel Honeytoe shits himself. Nineteen. Bethla does not shit herself. I'm like, Vorin got a ten. so hard, girl. Vorin shits himself a little. <laughs> Down my like neck. A little, like a cherry. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if the um, lion shits. Alores? Yeah. No, the, the lion shits itself. Oh, that okay. lion. Steak. Sprays on the yeah. wall. Yeah, just... <laughs> it's a jaguar. Thank you. It's a panther. Hold on, this could be great. Yes. Oh, no. Superguard shits himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Not His, Superguard. He botched. Anal, anal fissures, I believe, and is the term. And rolled a 99. <laughs> so... 
<laughs> he couldn't stop. Oh. He just shit himself to death. His Not insides are now his outsides. <laughs> he just, he like, the first time it happens, he just giggles or whatever. But then it doesn't stop, it just keeps going. And then, like, this worried look hits his face, and he's like, uh, uh, uh. Everybody's pooping themselves but me, right? I'm not talking about yeah. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, Aloris, Aloris also shit herself a little bit. But Super Guard shit himself to death. Oh, poor Super Guard. Like, oh, was it worth man. it? Like, he keeps shitting. Yeah. And then he's just, like, chuckling, like, <laughs> and then everyone else starts to notice the back of his pants turn red. And then he gets, like, scared. He's like, <laughs> but he can't, he can't not, stop. Can't not, stop, like won't stop. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Not like this. He just starts to get more and more pale. And he's, like, holding his ass together trying to stop it, but. It, it doesn't stop, yeah. and then he Cause, just... Cause can I mercy like, kill him? Like 25 miles of intensity. You can mercy trails become his ex-trails. You can, yeah. Just like, he's prone, right? He hasn't gone he, prone yet. I mean, he can't, like, he's just shitting himself. Yeah, he's just shitting constantly. Blood now. He's uh-huh. shitting blood. And right. I don't, I'm not leaving the papoose. I'm not getting out of here. No. So eventually, no. He, he just starts <laughs> crying. And he's just like... <laughs> and Alora's just... Shh. She pets his head as he he just goes not quietly into that good night. Good night, my sweet night. summer child. Yeah, that brown night. Yeah, he dies a horrible, horrible shit covered death there in the entrance of the cave. It's how it's he quite wa- the release. It's how he would have wanted to go. It's how he would have wanted. He died as he lived, <laughs> covered in uh, shit. Can can we and cover blood? his own shit and blood? <laughs> you don't don't judge him He's for his lifestyle. I would like to life. harvest his brain <laughs> so that we can heal it into one of those robots like, are you gonna a medicine check you or like whole spine yet? I think is probably if I best. eat his heart medicine can check. I get more strength medicine check I'm gonna medicine check to make sure Arundel's doing the right thing okay well Arundel has to go first medicine, medicine check is... medicine check I'm gonna do a quick perception to make sure none of the robots have heard, have heard. <laughs> plus you four just... okay <laughs> So Arundel looks at this body, stroking his chin, and then looks at the robots, and then like <laughs> s- slowly puts his hand on the on the jaw, <laughs> and then just like rips the head right off with the spine, <laughs> and then just slowly strips the head off of that, so it's just a brain <laughs> and a spine attached to it. Oh, it's a great grit. Yeah. So that's he's got that. I don't know where you want to put it. But definitely into a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Paint the lies on it. What? I get a 17 to eat the heart and gain the strength. You um, cut open the heart, or the chest, I should say. You rip out the heart, and then you eat it. Constitution check? All right. Um, Ten. Um, you threw, like, <laughs> you eat it, but you just keep, like, regurgitating a little bit, but you just keep force-feeding it down. <laughs> Ooh, like the, like Khaleesi. <laughs> But you get it down. You don't Daenerys feel any stronger. You just Tartarian. feel nauseous because you just ate a warm, still warm human heart. Nigel, what are your dex and strength stats? Plus four, plus three. All right. I'll bless Nigel. I'm going to say Nigel. To do what? Snag me one of those robots. <sighs> Snag I it? I don't think it's... Bring it up here. It's... I don't think you've roped far enough. No, we, we it's pretty far what down. What if we tied a bunch of ropes together? If you tied all your ropes together, you'd have enough to reach a robot. Let's do it. How are we going to do this without having all the other robots n- notice that I... They're not... They're, they're still on the assembly line. They're not sentient yet. Yeah, like, I don't we think don't, they've noticed... We don't know that. I didn't notice, to like, say no that idea. I know that. The um, the I deceive for a 23 to tell them that look those robots don't have souls yet you just have to grab them off the line insight insight check to know if he's full of shit or not nope well actually I can re-roll we that. talked about this Aloris is cool with no, this idea she's excited to I be a part him. of it yes bring back my super guard she says I mean his spine is twinging we need to get it into something 13 nice yeah, yep. let's, let's let's tie those together and fish out a fucking ribbon. I got a twenty for uh, my artificer's lore, just to be like to understand how the ribbons. I don't think that's how that works. Or does he think how that works? But I don't actually know. How does it? 
The god of the dice. I feel like a three dice difference. Like, I don't know he's wrong. You think... It sounds about right, but I'm like... Uh, that if you were to get a hold of one of these robots, you probably could figure it out. Nice. How to me put this thing together. and only me. <laughs> and Aaron. <laughs> ah. Yes, of course. So we're fishing for robots? Mm-hmm. With one of your... Well, with your last remaining with hook, I guess? all of our hooks and... De- well, ropes. We could lasso just the end. Shh. Kind of like spin it as we... Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't there be like guards? I think the hook. Is, no. Yes, yes. The answer is yes. The hook. The hook is so the way to a perception go. check to look for things that are not being assembled, but are still like robots or or standing around, not currently being assembled, but still beings who are aware. Yeah. Oh, all that looks like a guard. Said. Wonderful. Uh, fifteen. You don't see an assembly line. Everything's just standing there at the bottom of this cavern. Um, they're being processed through a different room that you don't Crit see. Crit twenty for perception. Same thing. You, you're not. Yeah. You're seeing the robots come from a different area and then just line up in this big open cavern that you guys are currently standing over right now. They're not moving once they're in that cavern. They're just standing there. Why are we not fishing for a robot? And then you see other smaller robots kind of meandering around, like the outsides of the area, around like that room that's bigger, and around the entrance to where the robots are coming from. And then there's other areas that are bigger areas that you see other small robots going around as well. But that's all you see from right there. So we're probably fine. So what kind of robot are we aiming for? One of the the combat bots, the big ones. These are all humanoids in this in this place that aren't moving. Okay. Currently. A non moving bot. All the moving bots are much smaller. From the very the very back of it. And they'll probably have some residual robot memories. Maybe. Right. But do androids dream of electric <laughs> I mean, Blade Runner was a great movie, so yeah, they do. I robot. I've going seen for it? things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> I robot. Well, I feel like he convinced all of us. None of us sort of. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Fish it, Nigel. Uh, Plus your D four. Well, I've have, I've have a higher dex than you do. I think. Plus three. Yeah, but... Plus four. Oh, it would be but he's also to hook it, and yeah. then strength to strength pull. To pull. pull. So, right. if you can so if I snag, try to hook it, and then pull. you pull it, I bless both of them. How much, right. by How much the... weight does a rope hold? Uh, All of it. How There's much... probably a rule for that. No. How... How Look. much tar does a boat have? All of it. <laughs> All the tar. All Look of it. it. <laughs> it's mostly tar. Yeah. The <laughs> adequate amount. Boats are actually not made out of wood, but tar. Weird how that works. Okay, so who's so lassoing the robot? I'll Aerobic? try to lasso. Okay. And then Nigel will... Over 100 play. feet down. Very gently. Plus a d4. Yeah, got it. But you uh, No, I did not buy it. I dropped the rope. Uh, that would be a 17. Um, yeah, you will lasso one of the robots. 21? It is snagged. 21? So you start to fish up this robot. Can I help pull it up? Yeah. Um, what's your strength? Maybe we can just bless well, Nigel again. Well, I mean, I would just be helping. I wouldn't be the one doing the, the primary the pulling. I've seen things you people <laughs> wouldn't <All> believe. Right. <laughs> I say as I bless them. Uh, 16 to help <clears throat> pull. All right, you're helping botch. Oh, you botched. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. And you were worried oh about me. <laughs> the rope well, is... Bocci McBotcher hey, over here. Wow. <laughs> the rope starts to slip back down... Fairly quickly. Oh, man. Can I make a quick Can snack? I try to do a no. deck save? Aaron Doe will dex at him. Can I? Yeah. <gasps> All right, I'm going to do a deck save. Nine. Nine. You don't make it to Nine! the rope. 13 to dex. So you grab the rope, but it's a strength to see if you can stop All right, it. then strength. Mm-hmm. 16. Okay, so you stop it. It doesn't. Get... So the robot doesn't hit all the way back to the bottom. It just stops and it's hanging there. Mm. And it's moving a little bit. All right. I bet we Help look me. real silly right now. <laughs> <laughs> Help me pull this thing. What's the severity of Nigel's rope burn? I dropped he it. He just I dropped it. Oh. Yeah. You want to give me another blessing? Yeah. Can, can you bless me as well? By the... Dis- All right, you fucked that up. By Let's the decapitated anyway. head of Mimir, I bless you. Now the decapitated head of... Super guard. I double botched. Oh, oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh yep. Watch that happen. And I got a sixteen. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Maria double botched. And the fourth <laughs> time. Yeah, that's the fourth, fourth fucking double botch. Double botch for me. Fell inwards towards the pit. I had a sixteen. 
you're holding on to the rope, but I'm saying Maria in her can attempt I, to... <laughs> can can, can I, I try to command her? Stake to try to catch me or something? Yeah, everyone can try to catch her. I command Stake to Stake does not Stake dive. doesn't listen to... <laughs> Stake doesn't <laughs> listen to anyone but me. I have magic. Stake misses horribly. Okay. Does not snag her. Anybody else? I thought... Oh. Vorin got Did a 10, in a... so I, nope. I feel like I whiffed that one. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Vorin whiffed on catching her. Uh, You're Aaron, holding one of the ropes. Arundel's not hands. paying attention. You have to let I go one. Okay, so Bethla catches just Thank the you. end of the trousers oh. of Polito. <laughs> just oh, oh shit! <laughs> Strength to pull her back up. Be a great You're time to really close. Please, Bosh. <laughs> great <laughs> time to <laughs> command release. No, nope, eighteen. You pulled her right up. Like, <laughs> Thank no big, you. No big deal. Release. I like. She just shits. I don't know. <laughs> releases her mouth. <laughs> Who me? Or he her? said release. I'm saying, so I'm gonna keep pulling. That's you can interpret it. Okay. Can I like shake Ooh. myself off and try to help again? Sure. Fifteen. I got a You're thirteen. Up slowly. I got a thirteen to help him. <laughs> pulling it up a little bit faster. Anybody else helping? Bless, or bless, just, just, just blessing. My strength isn't that good, so I'm not. Sixteen. Twelve. Okay. So now it's about fifty feet up. You got about another fifty feet to go. Ooh. Ten. Mm. I got uh, I eight. S- I speak. To, did you guys rope starts to slide? I s- I speak to the <laughs> severed head of Super hello Ryan. friend. <laughs> you speak into your microphone. Um, I I join the fray. Walder fray of a seven. Rope still keeps on right. sliding. So strength checks. Strength 18. check again. Just stop. The okay, rope. so the rope okay. stops. Crit twenty. All right, pulling it back up. Pretty fast. All now. the way. Up, Just, yeah. I got thirteen. <laughs> One more roll to get it all the way up. I botched. Oh my god. I got a five. <laughs> I, got I intimidated 17. him to not botch. <laughs> Nineteen. Nothing, nothing bad happens when he botches. Yeah, I had seventeen. Uh, Alright, so you pull it up the whole way. When you get the all robot right. up to the top, it's starting to flail around. And um, pull out the pink spot and put in the brain. Yeah. Just reach in there for the pink spot. Someone knows how to do that. He, I don't. he knows to. Um, Warren, do your thing. How is and this, I'll heal is it this in. the similar size of the rolly bots he threw at us? Or no, bigger, these bigger? are man-sized bots. Uh, it's you will taste man bots. <laughs> what? Can I reach out and touch it? Yeah. Reach out it's and flailing touch around it. as it's trying to get back up. Okay. Reach out and touch bot. Okay. <laughs> All right, Pink's Wild Magic. Hey, bud, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? What spell? Oh, I'm, I'm casting a spell. What spell? Shocking Grasp. Why? Advantage on metal. Okay. And it can take no reactions for an entire turn. Okay. But we're trying to replace it with a robot guard. It's currently alive. How are we going to subdue it if it's flailing? Uh, pull the head out and put the skull. Rip this fucking in. head off. How do you? You already won your knowledge roll to know how it works. So Dennis, how does it work? Will that said, work? Based off looking at it, you think that it has a... I mean, now shocking that I, it? Should I, should I do it wait, 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 a, before before I shock it? Yeah. Should I do a check to see, now that I see it more close, is that even possible? Because I saw it head off? away. To take like, its head off, it looks like it would be possible to remove the head, although it would be kind of difficult if it's still moving but around. Would that well, we don't want to remove the head. Back. We want to put the brain in the head. Yeah. We would want to replace work? its... You don't know. Like I mean, roll? You'd have to take it apart to look at it. I mean, just staring at the whole object and saying, Artifice that's is how lore, bro. That doesn't mean shit when you, can, you can't see the inner yeah, workings of it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Just looking at I the I can make a somewhere. guess, but I can't really... Yeah. Yeah. Take it apart. So we have to open it up, it and apart. then you have to look at it. So, so shocking, grass. do it. Okay. Uh, pink is wild magic. No wild magic. And I got a 20. Okay, so you hit with a shocking grasp. It takes six damage. It's going to take three damage. Okay, and it can make no reactions for an entire Seems turn. like it moves a little faster, actually. It still can't make any reactions. Can't make reactions, but it's moving a little but faster. It, seems like it, it likes yeah. it when you hit it. So This is the juice. You like the juice? So it's prone, so we should all just cut its head open. Prone Can I do a perception advantage. check to see if there's any like sure. panels to open Can up we... on it? Sure. What? Oh, I was gonna say like wrap the rope around it. Like I got Star a twelve. Let's, let's hang it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seventeen so for perception. Can't move it. Yeah, I got a twelve. For uh, you can see 
where if you if you can manage to get into a certain position, you may be able to like remove the headpiece. Mm. But it's going to be tough with it flailing around. <clears throat> Grapple. So let's crush the headpiece and then release it. Why don't we just wrap it up with the rope that's still tied to it? Because the rope is not going to choke it because it's metal. But it, you know, it won't be able to flail. Tie it together. Tie it yeah. down. If Nigel wants to strength that, I'm sure I'll I will bless him. Okay. I'll bless him to and tie the rope. Advantage? Strength it to to what? Just put rope around it? Yeah, right. Is that strength? Just wrap rope around it? And then knowledge to hold to, it to while, while it. it's moving. Yeah, yeah. I gotta wrap it around uh, as it moves. It's like a dex. dex? And then, I, I, I would say dex, yeah. How about yeah. both? Form of a dex. All right, and then so, a strength to hold it. So do you want me to try to wrap it and then you wrap. hold it down? Yeah. Bless, bless. All right. And, and you have advantage. Force. All right, uh, that would be twenty-five four to wrap it. Yep, it's wrapped up. Don't you double botch. Take this one. <laughs> to, <clears throat> to hold it 23. still. Twenty-three. Okay, so you're holding it still, and it's just kind of moving around a little right. bit. I will immediately go in uh, and try to remove the head. Okay. Um. Instead of trying to use a strength check just to rip it, I don't want to break the thing. I'm just sure. trying to be like, unscrew it or sure. take it off. Yeah. So uh, Artificer's guess... lore to see if you can figure out the okay. the unique way to remove the headpiece. Jesus Christ, a seven. Mm, you think if you just yank on the head, <laughs> like most heads, it'll just come right <laughs> off. Uh, What's, uh... I think if I just remove the head, this will work, right? <laughs> Uh, this is what I believe. Should I do like an insight check me otherwise. to see if... Insight doesn't do anything. 22 like... for intelligence check to be like, no. Yeah, you're like... No, yeah, you have to like... Hey, dummy. Huh. Twist and pull in a certain you direction. You need to pop, lock, and drop it. Oh, I keep forgetting pop, that. Lock, yep. It's the first lesson we got at Wizard. So who's college. doing that? Anybody? It just Not doesn't like matter. Not we were there. Uh, I feel like Vorin should. Okay. Vorin, do you want to rip off its head? In a calm, gentle, pop, intelligent manner. I will pop, lock, and drop that head okay. right off its body. All right. What's the check? Intelligence? Oh, God. You've been blessed. Oh, wait, I have? What does that right mean? Here. You roll... Oh, I have it. So Guidance. Uh, 19. Yeah. So you twist and turn its head off, and there's just like this pink um, sphere that's right where the head was, attached to like a, a rod going into I it. I pray to the god of knowledge <clears throat> for proficiency to whatever I roll I need to make. For what? To put the, the spine head back screw. We in. need to remove <laughs> the crystal first. Do we? Oh, yeah. The pink oh, sphere? Yeah. Should we make it yeah. arcane? Oh, yeah. So let's take that out. Okay. I'll do an artificer's lore. I don't. I will do an arcane. Do um, you think you should just? I think poke if we just stick. if we just touch it, it'll work. Seventeen for Arcana. Um, you think that this has some sort of magical power? You need to remove it, but be careful, because if you do it the wrong way, it may go boom. So just ripping it out may be a problem. So someone who's high in intelligence, like our mage friend, maybe <laughs> should. Check. Hey. Hey, Loris. Hey, Loris. Check this shit out. <clears throat> so Loris comes over. Turns out she's high wisdom. <laughs> she says, "Well, I, th- I think I know how to do it. Do you want me to just give it a shot?" Yeah, Little boy. I absolutely. Absolutely. Here's right. the skull. I, I, stand, back, up. I, I back up. Yeah, I back up and I take steak <laughs> with me. I just so stand Loris right behind reaches her. down and starts to like just kind of twist and jerk on this pink sphere. Of course, I've blessed her. So she's twisting and jerking, <laughs> and um, you hear this like. Tss, 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 tss. Okay, she pulls it off. Um, I just she double, pulls it off, and it starts to puff and spew. I just so double she, double crit twenty. She looks down the bottom at put like the, the robots. The skull just, in there. She just throws it back to the cave. No, and it just goes. Pff, causes a minor explosion. But the body's still there. Yeah, she just ripped and the pink I part just out. double crit twenty to put the. Skull thing back in. So you put the the spine in where spine the skull. where the um, metal column was, yes. and then you put the brain where the pink, pink orb was. was yeah. yeah. But Alorus makes a comment that well, it's still flesh that's just hanging out. It'll just rot and go bad after a while. So what what should we do? It needs to be encased in something. Oh, that that metal part that you just pulled off. Put it back on. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. 
I'll do an int check to see if I can think of a way to do it first. Okay. And then I give it to Arendal. Okay. Because I, I'm like, um... I prayed him a mirror? No. I don't know how this works. Is a three? I'm more of a robot guy, okay. not a cyborg guy. Is a 12, is 15, plus... What are we doing? It's Let's intelligence, tell. right? So I have a 16. Okay. So you're pretty sure you know how to attach this head back on. So you, you put it on, you screw it, and you hear like a... Um, like a... Tss, as it kind of like moves the, the air out of the way and kind of locks itself back up. And then the um, eye hole sort of light back up. It makes like a... Super guard, is it you? Hello. D- D- He's still wrapped up in the ropes, so it's up to you guys if you want to untie him. Oh, we should absolutely release it. Let's talk to it first. <laughs> I feel. Uh, I feel like Alora should talk to it because she knows him. Okay. Alora's is talking to it. And she's like, Super Guard, as everyone else knows him. His, His name is that, is that you? His name's Gerald. <laughs> His name is Steve. It doesn't say anything, it's just sitting perfectly still. Blink twice if it's you. The lights don't change, it's just solid lights. It's not moving at all, it's just sitting there. Move if you can understand my words. It's just sitting there. Should we carve ear holes? <laughs> Do nothing if you agree. <laughs> it flails wild. <laughs> no! I'm going to go through common, gnomish, primordial, and abyssal and say the same thing I did before. Okay. So you Move. run through languages. Nothing happens. Nothing. It's just... Sitting there all tied up. Does I try Elf, Common, Draconic, Giant, and Orcish. You keep running through all the languages. Nothing happens. You just keep sitting there. I let go of the rope. Okay. So you let go of the rope, and the rope sort of unfurls a little bit, and he sits up at that point, and then stands up, and like turns, and like his joints are twisting, and it's like... <laughs> moving around, sort of like that. And he's like, initializing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> So you are you danger. friendly? Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> does not com- does I'm not sorry, come. Dave. Curse my metal I body. Can't, I can't do that, Dave. I can't do that, Dave. It starts trying to. It's rejecting the brain. <laughs> it's <like laughs> trying to rip its own brain. <laughs> out. He's just ripping his own head off. <laughs> he just jumps off the side. Arms it takes out. Potato with him. <clears throat> but no, it's it stands up and just um, it says initializing and then it just um. Ready to comply. I all. am your soldier. <laughs> exterminate. 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 Are you friendly? Exterminate. Is that, it doesn't talk. Yeah. It just says initializing, ready to comply, and that's all it says. Am I able to communicate telepathically with it? No, I don't believe so. <laughs> okay. To test it, Arundel says, I will uh, fist your own asshole. <laughs> it just, it like twists, like the upper torso twists around, and then it just starts. <laughs> Cease pounding yes. its metal ass. <laughs> was, was there Stop. anything in um, and then twist back around? <laughs> was there anything in the blacksmith's research dented. notes that I copied everything down of about such atom- no. automatons? No, all the blacksmith's notes were about limbs. Command. Yeah. yeah. Twerk. Boots and pants. Boots and cats. Boots and cats. What are you guys doing with this robot friend? Anybody know how C plus plus program? Robot. Uh, I will. Uh, I will artificers lore again for a fifteen. What are you trying to figure out? The combinations of buttons to There's press. No, no, not buttons. Chest. For like, free like, will. Uh, the button for free will. Right. <laughs> what would be the middle ground Murder, between death, dealing kill. with a robot and dealing with a person? It just says ready to comply. And obviously it does whatever it tells you to do since he was pounding his own non-existent asshole with his metal fist. I tell it. It's all dented in the back To now. pick me up. <laughs> pick it, me up. Buttercup? It just picks you up. Put me down. Slowly. Puts you down. Slowly. Twirl. Caress me. <laughs> Dex check? I was not programmed too like long. Like like slowly. Oh, you oh. didn't say slow. You said twirl. Oh, so oh, dex okay. check. All right. It may backhand that's, you. That's, 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 oh, oh, did you go off the cliff? Oh. Wait. Wild magic. Oh, thank God. 20. Not natural. 
That was your roll or your wild magic? No, 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 no. I just, I hadn't used my Tides of Chaos. Okay. So, I initially rolled a botch, and then went, oh wait, boop. So what's Tides of Chaos do? It lets me have advantage on attacks, abilities, saving throws, okay. checks. And you can do that after you've already rolled? Sure. Yeah. It gives you I advantage. I mean, like, it just... But I mean, advantage <laughs> after you already rolled a botch? <laughs> I, sacri- I sacrifice it until my next long rest. Okay. It's just like a thing. Okay. If you're okay with that, otherwise I will take the botch. I'm tempted to take the botch. He botched! Because like, it's like, oh, I rolled a botch. Never mind, Tides of Chaos. So why don't you do a percentage? Well, that's what it's, that, it, on the internet, that's what I've seen. Oh, you can for. do it that way? Okay. Yeah. Like, oh. until the so end kind of, of like my turn, lucky, it's like a one still time. one okay. moment. Everything on the internet. It goes on to the stack. Okay. So you're fine. So you duck, and it twirls around real fast, like a spinning top. Just stop, and then it just stops in mid place. <laughs> Go to a neutral position. And it just goes back to the normal spot. I like this. Uh, we have a great. I orbit. like this a lot. Um, let's drill a hole in its stomach, put Vorn inside it, and let him drive it around like Krang. Yeah, that sounds great. Because that's what I want to do. But that's just what Norja would do. So let's uh, cut off not, cut off Vorin's arms and legs and shove him into that. Vorin got a twenty-one after hearing that going. That might actually work. You could do it if you want to cut a hole in the robot. Yeah, I'll cut off his arms and legs. No, 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 no. no, no, no. He said he wanted it. <laughs> I'm just honoring his wishes. God damn it. No, Krang has arms and legs. What, 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 just what? tiny, right? <laughs> Little tentacles, like a gnome. <laughs> Just, don't cut off. I only rolled a two, so I'm, I don't hit so it. So it's not okay. <laughs> Immediately swings with his knife. Ah! <laughs> it's a great idea. Elvish medicine. We've talked about this. My dad has taught me how to triage. We talked about this a long time ago. <laughs> so, are, are you planning on doing anything with the robot? Um, I or just having it follow you around. I, I let everyone know. I'm like, well, actually, that idea would work. However, I don't think we have the proper tools for it, so instead, let's just have him follow us around. I. He at least listens to me. Tell us about mm. all the other robots. It doesn't speak. In performance dance language. Through interpretive dance. <laughs> Through interpretive dance. He understood my interpretive dance. He just dance does the before. robot. <laughs> it just. Starts doing the robot dance, yeah. you know that whole like classic eighties, like uh-huh. you can dance. If so you want. I will, I will. Incite. I ask it. Do you remember us? <laughs> if you do, hop up and down gently. I will insight to it learn just his dance. Tink, 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 okay, tink, okay. tink, <laughs> tink. <laughs> I will insight to to interpret his dance. <laughs> okay. Twenty-two. <laughs> you insight that you told him to bounce up and down repeatedly. If he understood. So he's just no. ka-ding, 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 ka-ding. Okay. You get ka-ding, right. ka-ding. It's, it's a lifeless <laughs> shell, fellas. He's got some memories of his previous life. Absolutely not. <laughs> I believe it. I there was no such thing at him. as an afterlife. <laughs> it took you so long this robot has to rope up. It to <laughs> the robot that the brain had a lot of deterioration. It's, it's not a bad thing. At least it doesn't remember that it shit itself to death. Hey, go! So, when you say the word shit, it looks over at its body and just sees the pool of shit and just... A single teardrop <laughs> of oil. oil. <laughs> just... Hear this weird metal and then howl. Nigel goes and licks it off his yep. face. Eat your body. <laughs> Eat your old body. <laughs> he goes over to it and he just starts smashing the body into his face. I, I he, tell him to stop. He has no mouth. <laughs> just so you know who you are. <laughs> you will stop right now. It stops. Thank you. Uh, All right, let's progress. And you will only listen to me. Okay. Done. <laughs> Where do you guys want to go you from listen here? Listen to me because I ate part of it. I ate his heart. You just gained his powers. Um, we need to figure know. out how to collapse this tunnel onto all those yeah, robots. You're just gross. <laughs> we still need to get your artifact, oh, too, says She's Alaris. pretty metal. Oh, She's Alaris, She's Alaris guessing... where's the artifact? Um, she pulls out her <coughs> item finder. Uh, never mind. She's getting a sense that it is on the um, far side back of the cave. Corner. Yeah. No, the, where the, um, no, where yeah, the yeah, where small the robots traps. are rotating around. It looks like a small building. So if we fished a couple larger. more robots and disguised ourselves as robots, we could probably get down there. 
I mean, couldn't we just glue the horse pieces to us and get away or, with that? So, so, the, so the problem was that I'm his spine was out of his body for too long. So if we fish the robots first and then decapitate ourselves <laughs> and throw our brains <laughs> entire into the robot, robot party. Right. And I'm a robot. <laughs> and then our AC is like 30. And then when we die, we just return <laughs> to the resurrection ship. Yeah. And I see no downside. Because that's... They're Cylons, right? They're, Cy- they're Cylons. Vorin, show me how it works and we'll I don't... test it on Pototo. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Can you put the papoose on the robot? I already have. Okay. I get into the papoose. Okay. In okay. the front or the back? Robot's just there with it. Oh, the just, back. Let's go, try, uh, let's go back to the, uh, so the like, horse and try to disguise like, yourself. Hopping over his shoulder. <laughs> like, you know, I'm still there. You can see me. <laughs> with, like, I'm like, we'll wrap ourselves him. in black cloth <clears throat> and then put the, the metal parts on ourselves <laughs> so it's like a, a disguise. All right. Oh. I'm going to do that for myself. Loris thinks that idea is stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, Aloris <laughs> can go to hell because I am the great performandini. 25. To what? Deception? Or to persuasion? To disguise myself. So you go back to the horse and you get stuff. Metal gears and parts. Metal gears and parts and you just stick them to yourself and you don't look like a normal person. You look like a goddamn robot. Kind of a robot. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Go to hell. <laughs> Laura still says this is a stupid idea. I agree with her. So maybe just Superguard and I will go down. Uh, I'm sorry. He doesn't listen to you. And Vorin in, in the papoose. Uh, technically he listens to everybody. I gave him the command. He can only listen to Somebody me. Somebody else gave him a command too. Or you gave him a command to only listen to you. Yes. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't hear that. Right. The last yeah. command he got. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So yeah. So I guess he only listens to you then. Mm-hmm. I uh, mimic Vork. Foreign performance. Blessing By the yourself. Side of Mamir. <laughs> I will be really good at performance. Nineteen. I whisper, stop. To what? The robot. To the robot. After he says that, whatever he's about to say. I say, listen, to everybody. <laughs> then, he, then Warren says, stop. So it, it's just standing there. Now listen only to me. Just... <laughs> so Dex check to see. It who starts speaks to first. shake and sputter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen to Vorin. It's not Fine. a logic loop. No, he has specific commands set. He was yeah. convinced good, that good, I had good. said, listen to everybody, and then he would accept that, so then I say stop, so he stops. Whatever. Yeah. And he wasn't I didn't say he exploded, I'm just hey, saying he's twitching. As long as you papoose down with me and stop Robot Boy, let's go. Stop trying to control my robot. <laughs> it's the I end finally point. have a robot body. <laughs> Come on! All right, so you it's specify carrying, the end point you know? of everybody, though? Because if you didn't, it's going to loop. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not getting into that. No, no, then, but then I, you could then stop it again. But does a robot have a soul? Really? I mean, this one might. We're, we're not because getting into Japanese another... Japanese sex bot that I Where ordered seems to be pretty <laughs> soulful. It's when I show, no, no, that's wholeful. <laughs> when I stare into its lifeless eyes as I make love to it. It's about as I passionate as my... Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, stop trying to take over my robot. Let's right, move well, down the hall. Where are we going? So there's a set of tracks that goes across this basically like large open cavern, or you guys can make your way down in a different way. It's it's up to you. But in the meantime, we're going to take a break. So you guys are on top of basically like a mining... Top of the mountain. No. You're on like a mining bridge almost of tracks. Can we figure out how to make this robot uh, self-destruct? <laughs> we, we talked about we went how through many such times tame do time. we have to tell you to work with us, not against us? Come on, Ben Sipkoff. At least fucking five times a night. No, we if, we, if, we could, if we could... If we could throw it into the... Command, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Rosie. Command silence. Shut it. <laughs> Command. So we're trying. Sh- we have to get down in the cave. Towards that towards back area back where there's area. like it seems That's like there's a the... room and there's some other areas back okay. there too. But... I go with what the party says. So let's go. But oh, it, it's a matter of do you want to just travel along this like track bridge type thing and see if there's a way down that way, or do you want to try and make a makeshift way? 
Can I do a perception check to see if there's like a, I don't know, a more convenient way to go? Sure. So it's like a mine shaft track. Twelve. List? Yeah. 18. One would think it would be going somewhere useful. Like people don't build mine shafts tracks to go nowhere. Yeah. Temple of Doom. Yeah. That that mine track went to literally an open <laughs> chasm, and then a wall. Well, wasn't that wasn't that also a trap? It was to save Indiana. That's what they built it That's for. That's what they named yeah, it. They dog. built it for plot armor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I got a twelve. You got a twelve. And Vorin got an eighteen. I did. You see that there are some metal cables um, attaching things around. So if you did jump off the bridge, there is a chance you could catch onto one of the cables and slide your way in the vicinity of the room. But it is a bit of a drop before you catch it. Guns up. Let's do this. I go for it. Are you just hands out, straight hands doing it? What'd you roll? A one? <laughs> Did you roll a one? It's not quite what, a one. What ability is this? <laughs> this is just... This is uh, wisdom. This is Athletics? like a dex. Athletics. Athletics. Ath- <sighs> no, Because you're just jumping and catching. Seven. That seems like something you do in a sport, <laughs> a like football. I mean, you can make that argument for a lot of things. If it's athletics, it's an eight. That's worse. Eight doesn't one. do much... But yeah, eight is a, eight eight is a fail. fail. <laughs> um, Flashback to our old campaign. So Carindol jumps first, jumps into the abyss. Is <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, that's what I meant. And your hands hit it, mm-hmm. but you're also you have nothing like on your hands at all. So it's just you you jumped twenty feet onto a metal cable to try yeah. and grab it. Yeah, I don't see the problem. Yeah. So you grab it and then immediately let go because mm, of the no, no, no. amount of blood. Well, you can do a, do a dex check to see if you can manage to hold on. Or a strength check or a con check. Your choice of those. Con th- would be the best. Of those three. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's with a plus three modifier. <laughs> Bless. No, it's too late. It's too late for you that. Rolled it. There's no time, man. I'm falling. So you're falling down. You try and catch this metal cable. My you, skin just rips off my hands. Yeah, your skin just rips <laughs> off your hands, and then you let go and can go. I, Ow! Can I? Uh, you know, it's better than hands. Skeleton Mr. hands. <laughs> hooks. <laughs> Sweet sliding hooks. So you start to fall into the like towards the bottom of this. Nothing, Should I like, try to shoot an chasm. arrow with a rope tied to it past what, him so what you can you grab the do? rope? <laughs> can I try? I will, first, I will catch. So I'll. I'll Judge my trajectory. Oh. Okay. And I will cast command on the robot that's coming, <laughs> that I'm coming up to, <laughs> to say, catch. <laughs> oh, he's going to do a superhero landing. He's going to do a superhero landing. Um, they get a uh, a save versus wisdom at a DC of 14. I hope How wise are the robots? Spine first between its arms. So he puts his arms out. So, no, I, I fetal position, so it catches me like a baby. <laughs> I, you still jumped like a hundred feet. So oh. I cast suggestion. <laughs> Catch me gently. I feel like <laughs> cradle the fall. Give me some more d6s. Oh, Oops. I mean, you've already done Randall. that once, so Randall. probably don't want to do that. Don't, don't, don't waste your time. Does anyone have any rope left? And I grabbed Poe to with me. <laughs> You're already gone. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Did you shout to me? Grand 20. No. <laughs> Jump. No. <laughs> Follow! <laughs> I start following Steak around. How much else you got? Uh, 13? You don't have to answer oh, that. Fuck. 30? <laughs> 30. 30. Assuming I'm at full health, I'm pretty so sure. So you hit these robot arms <laughs> and break every bone in your body, and you're unconscious in a bleeding heap. Not dead, because you only took 31 damage. Nice. But you're also in the middle of a massive a army robot of robots, army. yeah. So should I roll for death? Sure, right now, roll for death. That's above 10. Okay. So Once <laughs> towards life. To Do which, you really want life at this point? To which point? the robot that was holding you then just drops you, and then all the robots in your vicinity just whoop, turn towards you <laughs> yeah. and look down. <laughs> so they each, um, their arms turn into various weapons like axes and swords oh, they're and like, maces. They're like carnage. 
Except they're robots. <laughs> yes. I was thinking the shop teacher. And they look at you, and there's yeah. like they're a... They're T-1000s, but yeah. they're robots. There's a pause for about ten seconds, and then they just... <laughs> just stabbing and smashing repeatedly until you're in a, just a bloody, pulpy mess. Um, <laughs> Rosie, Rosie disapproves. Mark. So, Arundel's dead. Yeah, Arundel passes into this life. And they're not oh, gentle, yeah. but at least you died in your sleep. So, uh, do you guys want to go? <laughs> do you guys want to just so leave? I say you want to leave? <laughs> who wants to leave? Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to just jump out wildly into the abyss? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna. <clears throat> Can we use Can the I... rope to make like a um, zip line? Wait, didn't you say there was a bridge? There's a bridge. There's a bridge. You're on a bridge currently. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna... It's like a. a um... <laughs> it's like a track for the mine shaft that goes straight across the chasm and then into an area you don't see. And then on either side, it's just empty space and down. You can't tell if it goes down after that. You just see the track. No, goes... no, 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 not past that. But like in the area we are with the bridge, empty space and down. And yeah. The giant congregation of robots. Yeah, and there's like a cable yeah, that's so why did you like jump? twenty feet down where, that where you could you, you could technically do what he tried, but he tried to bare hand just jump out and grab a thing after going 20 feet down and rolled badly twice. He was sad. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Why don't we just go across the bridge? I am not. Can, can I just do a quick perception down on the robots? Sure. To make sure that they haven't noticed us. 19. You notice that a lot of robots in the area of where Arundel was now have red painted armor. In places. In one red like arm. Arms around the leg area. Like painted with blood. I, I, I was more yeah. like, like focused splattered. on to see if they're not looking up. They're no. now no. um activated if they are doing anything. They, or just, they, they just went back to their stance. St- they after went back murdering to this thing that landed in front of them. Stab, 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 stab. Alright, so I'm gonna roll on down. So you're gonna also try and catch the cable, or you're gonna no, no, no. you're gonna no. cross the bridge. I'm gonna go across the bridge. Okay. Okay. So you go across. Well, me, the... me and Steve, Superbot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You and Superbot go across. Aloris will follow you as well. Anybody else going with? I will. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So everyone's following along. So you make your way across this bridge of sorts. When you get to the other side, um, it does arc down and to the right. And if you keep following it, you notice that it is going to go back into that um, area where you were before. With the uh, not where you were, but where the robots were. So eventually, it will arc its way down that way. Would we have uh, like could I could I have recognized what entrance we'd be going through into that room just from like um, raw like you're going in then to the right then down so yeah. I'm here. It'll meet up probably right where the robots are coming out of to like the, join that area. The, so like there was were there two, a machine there? You didn't like see spitting one. Spitting them out? No. No. You, no. you just saw two archways and they were just coming through that archway. All right, I'll, I'll have Superbot slow down a little bit. Okay. Super Steve. Super. Uh, I'll have Super, Super Steve slow down a little bit and be like, "Hey, slow and stop around the corner." Okay. So he does. It's just so I can like <laughs> lean over and peek real quick. Okay. And perception. With a seven, I assume I'm just like, ooh. This, Can I this dirt come up behind really him and perceive as well? It's really nice. Yeah, sure. This is really good dirt. Twelve. Um, you can see a giant machine that has various um, pink colors coming out, like accentuating the area around it and behind it. And then um, two little, I don't want to call them nozzles, but like areas where like it spits out a robot, like a humanoid robot. And as soon as it spits it out... It starts to walk forward and make its way through that entry. Into formation. Yeah. Yeah. Into formation. And they filled the formation from where Super Steve came from. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's already filled. Does it look like uh, the pink energy is coming from this machine? Or looks it like that light's coming from inside the machine, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And where I, are we trying to, to get group. to exactly? You're trying to get to the exact opposite of where you currently are in that room. So we should pass all the robots. Yeah. Somehow, some way. Gliders. 
<laughs> we need hand gliders. Sliders? Um, cheeseburgers. Um, 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 um. <gasps> cheeseburger slider. Um, um. Let's do this. Cheeseburgers will give us the power to fly. <laughs> <laughs> slider glider. Gliders made of sliders. N- never no, get off the ground. Just eat it the whole time. <laughs> yep. Just eat the whole fucking time. All right. Could you yeah. shoot an arrow to another point and have it stick, and then we can shimmy? We like, can either shimmy or we can like, like or I like if I shoot it at like a downward us. angle, and we just like slide down I, it. I don't think I've been rolling well enough to shimmy anything today. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, but what a way to go! Wait, do does, <laughs> does Super Steve have rocket boots? Have boots. you checked? Um, can I ask Super Steve to show me what he's able to do? Show, show me, me what, what you've, you've got. got. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Super Steve, I want you to show me what you got, but without hurting anyone. Um, his weapons can turn into, or sorry, his hands can turn into weapons. Like one turns into a mace, one turns into an axe, and then they kind of rotate back. Mm-hmm. Um, and he tries to hop in place, and it's just okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, that's, that's enough. Um, and then he just like clanks into his like breastplate and stuff like that. It seems very sturdy. That's all he's got for you. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Super Steve. <laughs> Super Steve, I appreciate you. I can't, I can't wait till they get a spin-off podcast. <laughs> Super Steve, the adventure. Yeah, when, Super, when Steve. Super Steve and Steak survive the rest of the party dying. Yeah. He learns to love through a panther. <laughs> <laughs> the robot has learned emotions through the mountain and panther. Coming to the untamed wolf. wild. At this first, fall. they didn't get along. <laughs> <laughs> But then they found love in the mountains. <laughs> and it turned into bestiality robot porn very quickly. Illegal, it always does. It always Illegal does. in most countries, but, does, but legal true love. In our hearts. Yes. In our hearts, yes. That's no boundaries. <laughs> Anyways, how do you plan on trying to, to do whatever you want to do? Well, we can try and blow this thing up and draw attention, and then repel from the bridge down. Unless Alores has a better idea, or if anyone else has a better idea. Because I feel like if we enter the the killing floor, we're, we're not making it out. We're the Thunderdome. Yeah, Dead the Thunderdome. The... One man <laughs> enters. One panther and enters. <laughs> One panther, one million And robots. only love emerges. <laughs> love will prevail. <laughs> um, vengeance. If you ask Alora, she says, well, I mean, she has a... The possibility of casting teleport? No. She may teleport you to where you want to go. Are we going to be missing where like an arm and three might toes? we get teleported? Anywhere in the visible vicinity? Is it a hat? Um, a teleport hat? I ask Super Steve... Uh, if I do a good enough job of stealth, would any of the other robots notice me on your back if you joined them? I want you to wave your right arm non-threateningly, if that's the case. If not, <laughs> it no, rapidly. no, waves it rapidly. Uh, okay, <laughs> rapidly. All right, so much. All right, guys. <laughs> No, no. So what's what kind of what kind of percentage are we talking about? Making it? Yeah, how sure are you that you can teleport us? Not very. I've only done it three times and was successful. How many once. times? How about oh. we try? Try to. I've done it three times and was successful once. Mm. Just myself. Does it have to be a person, or could it be just an object? Technically, it could be an object, but I have try to, to go with it. Teleport me. Because she's teleporting herself. It's just a matter of whatever's going with. So I have we, nothing we all to live have for. To, just teleport we me. We all have to either group hug. Yes. We or... can all hold hands, and then right before she teleports, we just let go. Psych! <laughs> and then she goes exactly Hell, where she needs well, to go. Well, it worked. That's cool. She just waves at you guys. Now, now I guess do that thing. But she can... Hmm. I look at Super Steve. Can you run on walls? <laughs> he just, like... Like turns his head so his eye, yeah, his his, his visual head? ports can look at me, and he's just staring. He just shakes his head. No, no. I mean, hey, I tried. <laughs> it's okay, Super Steve. You're the best. Around. Around. 
Nothing's ever going to keep Super Steve down. Except for when he died from shitting himself to death. That was Don't bad. bring that up. That was Steve. Yeah, that's, this is Super Super Guard Steve. Steve. He could, this is their super still bot. time. Super Steve. All right. Um, we just have Alora's teleport herself. I'll go with her. Alora says there's three options. You can do the shimmy thing that you guys talked about with the, with the bow and arrow. You can do what Carindol tried to do, which is jump and take that. Pray. Well, to grab you, the cable. If you don't do it in a stupid way, like he just tried to grab it with bare hands, if you like used it like a Let's grapple. Let's say if you have like a, a metal umbrella. Can <laughs> we can we have super Steve? Unless that was destroyed. Wait, so is that gone? No. No, you still, still, have, it. still have it. Super okay. Steve has like weapon arms, right? Yeah, so yeah. he can hang on and he slide and we on. can all hang on he... to him and slide just slide down. Yeah, that could work. Vorin's not really so, comfortable hold with sharing on. Super Steve. Super Steve would need to jump. We would all have to... Have you seen his jumping skills? Can, he, can, he can barely hop. Let me finish. Amazing jumping skills. Let me finish. <laughs> he, could, he, he starts jumping in place to show no, you his no. jumping skills. <laughs> he, could, he could shimmy and we could sit on his belly as he goes down. Like a ski lift. This isn't a, a, a robotic what? version <laughs> of what Westerners think the Buddha he actually looks tran- like. He's a transformer. He turns into a ski lift chair. <laughs> what? Have we asked him? It plays gentle, like, elevator Twin music. Twin powers activate! <laughs> oh my god. Take Boring form of... Ski so lift. Ski <laughs> lift! <laughs> so, shimmy, jump like a dum-dum. Or teleport. Or teleport. All or sounds s- like... Or try or and leave. sneak. Or try Just really hard leave. to sneak. Or Fucking leave. leave. Yeah. Maybe if we mined directly above the area, we could, you know, mine a hole straight down. Through the mountain. Through the mountain. Dynamite? Alright, so uh, I just tried to stealth into the papoose. Yeah. And basically what everyone sees is me going into the papoose, going, no one can see me now. Okay. Everyone can see me. Oh, you rolled that bad first, though. It was a 10. Everybody rolls. What? Perception? See, yeah, perception. I didn't see shit. I Alora got saw eight. it. Alora saw you stealth in it. I got an 11. Oh, yep. thank God. So two people saw you stealth into the papoose. Alright, I guess this won't work. So yeah, so you have a few options. There are no mine cars. No, you haven't seen any. Yet. That's weird. Turn him into a, a mine track. car. Turn the robot into a mine car. He's not a transformer. And he's Is a he a person. transformer? He has... I asked Super Steve. Are you a transformer? Take form of <laughs> mine car, <laughs> but but don't kill me when you sits transform. On the track. Oh, Does he that's fair. like pop wheels out of his no, ass? He just sits on the track and just like dogs <laughs> grinding but, his ass on the carpet, scoots. just butt scoot. <laughs> All right, I tell him to stop. Does he? Have and once again, he can only listen to me. Okay. Does he have wheel attachments? Like what? But like like accessories yeah. wheels for a bicycle. <laughs> We can teleport. Turn him into a loot, like, <laughs> like the, the, those, a bobsled those or something. Sneakers that have a Jamaican no, like, wheels in like them. Like he has an axe arm, an axe hand, and a mace hand. A mace he hand because like, he that. have wheel hands. <laughs> well, wouldn't we want wheel legs or wheel Both. feet? Both. Oh, true. He just turns into a pile of wheels. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> this is what you asked for. This, this is, is what I was made for. We can shimmy, <laughs> or we can jump like dum dums. Or we can teleport. Or you could try and teleport. Leave. I said I wanted to teleport earlier. Can... Well, do you want to try teleporting with the Lord? Sure. It's a thirty percent chance. I don't know if I'm because I've got steak too. <laughs> so you got to roll as a. I don't know if steak is shimmy. <laughs> no, yeah, she, it is a panther or mountain panther lion thing. We need to roll a 76 or higher to shimmy. No, to teleport. No, to, teleport. Teleport. to teleport. To teleport exactly where you want to be, right? Or you can pick right? the number you want, like the number range, if you'd like to do it that way. Hmm. You're not the one rolling. No, I know. <laughs> it's those voodoo rituals. Oh, no. uh, well, like, if you want to teleport, oh. you can tell me what range you'd like to be oh. the 30%, and I'll use that range, and if you get it, get it. If you don't, you lose. I mean, I... So with steak, there's I don't really have an option. I can't shimmy or jump with him. Why not? Yeah, you can. Sure, you could. Cats can jump incredibly. Like he might. Yeah, just but be could he jump. shimmy down a rope? Uh, he no. probably has. What What are his professions? How? 
Or proficiencies. Professions? Sorry. Proficiencies. He is uh, the Still. sole manufacturer of kitten mittens. <laughs> um, <laughs> he also, now, to be fair, he's not very successful. He makes a little jingle ball for cats, but he only makes one at a time because he gets distracted very easy. Because <laughs> he's making a jingle ball. Because he makes he a jingle ball. Yeah. Gotta play with it. He loves it so much. What it. about his proficiencies? <laughs> proficiencies? It's fucking like cat. stealth. How stealth heavy is he? How heavy is he? Dex, nature. I want to know his weight. He has keen uh, smell, pounce. What the fuck is that? A passive perception, and then perception and stealth are his only skills. How As a heavy cat? is he? Yeah, how heavy is the cat? It doesn't say. So I'm going to say it's about 100 pounds. <laughs> Seems a little That's a high. huge cat. It's a fucking panther. <laughs> like the mastiff on the corner. I guess we could look up how much a panther weighs. I'm looking up panther. I'm looking up jaguar. Or Can mountain. I go back or to it's a panther? Lion. How far is the entrance to the mine? Sixty-eight pounds. I mean, how far? I mean, if you go back yeah, around, sixty-eight. Okay. I just want to go back looking for a mine cart. I mean, I'm you guys a, didn't see one on the way. I'm a panther that like eats a tree You weren't looking for one, but you <laughs> <were> <laughs> one. It's a chubby, it's a well, rotund panther. <laughs> He's good at well, I guess happiness at the bottom of this catnip. I just love fish so much. <laughs> but I hate Mondays. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, don't, don't fast shim- talk your national animal of Garfield. I can... Shimmy <laughs> and carry at the same time. Oh, you could. shimmy with I'm one sure hand. Go great. With my animal companion. Your 70 pound. Do you have a better idea? Uh, He's 68. Teleport with Alorus, I guess. Yeah, and teleport but into the middle of the robot. Yeah. And then I have a spell. You have that... a 30% chance uh, that you're going to make it. 30, okay, guys. Hey. 33.33%. So if we teleport and we do end up in the middle of all of them, I have a spell that can, like, chill them out for our turn. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> so for one If turn. they make a saving roll Run. against so hey, hey, everyone, we everyone, we'd all just, have to teleport so together you know, as a group. I'm down three spells. Two of them are my high-level spells. <laughs> sleep. 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 No one can Lighting do that. Bolt. Lightning bolt. You can't do that. <laughs> sleep, sleep. No. You can say that to me, and I'll just be like, that's, why are you saying that's that? Sleep, sleep. Power sleep. word, I rust. Mean, oh, I, I am kind of. <laughs> Alright, well, let's make a decision. Yep. Decision time. I'm teleporting. Laura says, teleporting. She raises her hand. Who all's in favor? Let's all go as a group. Just And if we end up in the middle of the robots, we can fight it out together. She can, you know. Form, you can do it. Alright, fine. Want. Fuck okay. it. Let's do this, Super Steve. Okay. Roll me with so a, we all... raise your right hand slowly sort and of... not in a salute <laughs> sense with your chest. Just straight up from, from, nope, 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 you, nope. Just locked in some nope. sort of malfunction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so Alora says, all right, everybody grab on to her. All right. And looks at Nigel Can I, like, hold on to you? <laughs> oh, but um, I'm stay. I tell, like, I tell if I hold Super on to Steve Steve and, like, to create all a you have to do is touch. Okay. Stay. I tell Super Steve to create a hand. And he holds on to her. A little tiny I, baby hand. I hold on to her as well, with also <laughs> tiny a really baby tiny baby hand. hand. It's going to feel and huge. I tell her, hand. I'm only but a gentleman. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got I got an 18 on that. For what? Just telling Being her a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. And All right. She believes that you are a gentleman. That's why it's because it's true. Okay. Pick your percentage. 33. So you can get 1 to 33... You can get 34 to 66, or you can get 67 to 100. Obviously, your odds are a little better with 67 to 100, but... Super Steve and I choose 67 to 100. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Do I get to pick my own? Yep. Or is it a group thing? It's a group thing. It depends on what everyone wants. 67 to 100. Majority's got the vote. <laughs> okay. 66. Uh, <laughs> don't lie to us. No. I rolled a three. Okay, so let's see where you roll to. Okay. So you teleport back up onto the bridge where you were before. <laughs> can we try like, again? Fuck. Um, you can try again if you want. I don't think this is where he meant to be. She's like, I can try, try again. one more. I can cast it once more. And with the same odds? Yep. All right, go team venture. Copyright. So she's like, you guys are down for this? And, and whoever else does that show. 
Sure thing. All right. Let's do it. Same number, 67 to 100? Yep. Uh, yeah. I think we should change it, but too, too late. late. And you find yourselves Living exactly in- where you want to go. Woo! On top of that little building that you were looking at before. Uh, perception check. Yeah. Does anybody yeah. notice us? Oh, I don't. Fourteen. Twenty-one. You were at such a place I'm on that... I'm stroking Super Steve's robotic body. Okay. You were at such a spot on top of that little building that you can't actually see the robots, so they can't see you currently. Awesome. But you can hear commotion, like, around the building. Like, you can hear, like, a few robots moving around that particular area, so something's there. By the way, I rolled a 99 for that wow. particular teleport, so... Why couldn't that have been a death roll, but... That's what it is. It you already so took one good. of us tonight. Only one, though. Only one. Never night. satisfied. Yeah. Um, we'll fix that in the future at some point. What are you guys doing? You're currently located on top of this small what's building. building. What's the building made out of? Stone. Can I stealthily peer over the edge? Stealth check. See? Sure. Stealth. Cool. Five. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Well, let's see if they notice. Come on. Oh, but then I just rolled a 20. Does that count for anything? Hey, they rolled the three peop- the three things that were there rolled two 20s and a 14. So all of them happen to be staring right at you as you peer over like, Hello! <laughs> Hello, I'm Nigel. Nobody look at me. <laughs> I'm Nothing invisible. to see here. tra la So yes. as you pull your head back real fast, uh, up jump... The boogie? Um, three, no. <laughs> so wait, those no. ones have rocket shoes, but Super Steve doesn't? They aren't rocket shoes. It's only like 10 feet up. And these are much smaller. These are, um, so up jump these three robotic creatures. They're about two and a half feet tall, about three feet long. Very sleek bodies um, with like long heads, I guess you would say. How long is that? <laughs> Can I, uh, how much, so long. How much space is up there? Like, how close are they It's about to 20 us? square feet. Okay. So they're robot ducks. Yeah, they're ducks. Cool. Got it. <laughs> and um, do sorry. a perception check real fast. 20, not natural. Not 20. Okay. Natural. Okay. Well, one of them looks a little different. The Two of them have, like, opening closed mouths that have, like, teeth the one has an open mouth constantly and like a cone shape going into the back of its mouth. So it's too, can too, I? That's a proboscis, you guys. It's two mallards and a like goose. A cone shaped mouth that leads to a point meant for backwards. So it's like an inwards cone. It's not like a megaphone. It's yeah, a like duck. A... <laughs> you were right. It's, it's a duck. It's two mallards and a goose. Initiative. I, I don't really know what you're talking about, but all right. Initiative. Thirteen. <clears throat> Nine. Vorin gets a three. You want Vorin for roll for Super Steve? Uh, I rolled for Super Steve. He got a six. He's currently carrying me, by the way. Yeah. What did everybody get again? Thirteen. Three. Fourteen. Nine. Do you do initiative for steak, or does it go by Pedro's? Uh, it just goes with Pedro. Word. Good old steak. Bethla and Potatel go at the same time right now. So right, I'm going to use my quick shot your... bow so I get two shots. Yep. <clears throat> the first one Which misses. one are you attacking? Since they're uh, I'm gonna two sh- mallards and a goose. The goose. The one that looks different. Okay. The first one misses. I got a uh, 12. Yeah, no, it misses. And second one. Another 12. Misses. Can I command <clears throat> steak? To attack. Yeah. Sure. Like, I don't want Stake to grapple. I just sort of want Stake to, like, swat at one and keep moving. Yeah, it has bite and claw. I want it to, like, sort of claw as it runs past. Like, I don't want Stake to stay in, like, grappling range. It's up to you. What would you rather have it do? Bite or claw? Um, claw. Okay. It's a little easier to keep moving. It's Roll good. attack, and it's a d4 <clears throat> for damage, so. Two claws or one claw? One. Okay. Uh, what, is that strength? Or... Uh, t- it's a plus four to hit. Plus four? Uh, that would be an 11. Nope. Misses. All right. Okay. So, Stake also runs over and misses. And then what did you do, Bethel? Did a 17 for yes. spell. And then he did seven damage. 
Seven damage. What was that spell? It was Eldritch Blast. Okay, so you blast it, and it kind of like... Eldritch. Next up is the monsters. So, the two cats are going to attack Stake. They're going to hit Stake. How close are we? How close am I to Stake? Like you're all within about ten feet. So the two cats, oh, sorry, dogs, large you mean dogs, geese, whatever. Two mallards and a goose. Two ma- the yeah. mallards. <laughs> let's get our <laughs> let's get our animal. It's going to right take here. steak. Steak's going to take yeah. I'm calling Steve. Steak is going to take fifteen damage. <laughs> Steve is my mount. Steak, come back to me. Is he dead? Do Don't with? die, steak. He, uh, steak oh. has the maximum hit points, which is thirteen. <sighs> Plus really? something? Just 13. Uh, so I'm guessing Steak is passed out. The only thing I know about... I don't know how so they squishy. They take maximum hit points, and I think just they get hit level. points every turn. Or not every, every turn. Level. Every level. Yeah. I have 37. Well, for right now, we're going to say Sleepy well, Sleepy. Dep- depending on positioning. Okay. If I'm within five feet of Steak, okay. they have disadvantage. Always, they always I said have... said 10 feet. Huh? I said 10 feet. You said everyone's within 10, 10 feet. 10 feet. Yeah. 10 I feet. Inch, I inch a little like a, It's weird. Like I said, the word 10. Okay, so the third dog, the one that has the strange mouth that you call a mallard or whatever the fuck. No, 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 goose. That's the goose. Goose, whatever. Um, Get it straight, Iceman. It's... What level are you? Mouth is starting Three. to make like a low humming sound, like a... So, that's what you start to hear. Starting to pick up. So then we will have Aloris, Super Steve, Vorin, and Nigel Honeytail all go at the same time. Just tell me who you're attacking. Who are you focus firing? Um, the different one. <clears throat> yeah. You want me to roll for Super Steve? No, I got it. You got it? Uh, I got a 17 for my firebolt, and I do not wild magic. Okay. Super Steve runs up and attacks the dog and hits it for 5 damage. The one that everyone's been hitting. His other arm then malfunctions and blows off. Because he botched. That's fine. So his one arm just poof. I give him a little bit of comfort before I shoot my firebolt. Okay. So what do you roll? Which one are you attacking? The goose. Uh, the, the, the goose, not the mallard. Sure. <laughs> and uh, I got it. I'm attacking the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely hit it. The dog. The 15 plus 5. Yeah, and then it. I deal 9 damage. Okay, so that one um, explodes and little puffs of pink smoke come out of the wreckage. And as he does that, I run in. Okay. With a 17. Okay. To hit. Yep. Uh, with my double dick flail. Okay. And I do 14 damage to it. Oh, all right. So you run in and you basically smash <laughs> one of these dogs. <laughs> sure, you're making like a weird <laughs> gobbly turkly, turkey noise to scare off the geese and mallards or whatever. <laughs> turkly. <laughs> That's what you said. Right. Turkly. <laughs> you haven't heard that word before? Turkly? <laughs> it's a description. Oh, I'll have to write that turkey one down. Turkey noises. Turkly. Um... So you run in, and you hit this pretty hard, and it's, like, sides and head are bent in, but it's still huffing and puffing and still going, so it's not quite dead yet. And then who else was left? Alaris. It's back to the top. Oh, that she, she went and missed. Okay. So now it's, um... Aaron Doll. <laughs> Bethla and Potato. All right, and so the two mallards are unharmed, and the goose is hurting? No, the goose is dead. The One goose of is the dead. mallards is hurt. Goddamn mallard. And one is completely unharmed. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shoot at the unharmed one. The dog <laughs> says, <"Mew." laughs> I'm going to use my quick shot bow and shoot at the unharmed one. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a 24 to yep, hit. It's... It does uh, seven damage okay. for the first shot. Okay. The second shot also hits with a 23. Yep. And does okay. nine damage. Okay. So you two, you start to riddle this uh, other creature of sorts with arrows. You start to kind of mash it up and things like that. The um, so the next up are the wait, Bethla, did you hit? Oh, Bethla, yeah. Did I you go? yes. What'd you get? 
I did seven da- poison damage to... Which one? I the guess one. it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's dead okay. when they hit. So you hit it, it explodes, <laughs> and the pink smoke shoots out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. it doesn't matter. it's fucking All dead. Right. They both have the same amount of hit points. Moving on. So that one is up, and it will leap at Potato. And miss twice. So... Come at me, bro. it is Vorin, Nigel, and Alorson. As a free Steve. action, could I ask Super Steve if... Well, here's... Hold on. Alorus and Steve both botched. I rolled two ones with two 20s. Double botch! Join the club! Although I did want a free action before our turn to ask Super Steve if I shock him, will he be healed? I hit some. Okay, so um, Potato, Super Steve, goes to attack the last dog and then kind of malfunctions and starts spinning around wildly and hits you for wait ten re- damage. Really? Yeah. Uh, There's nothing I can do to Dex out of that or like my AC or yeah, no, because you're unaware that he's about to hit you. And then all of you see these little. Reddish missiles coming your way as Aloris casts her magic missile spell and Oh sorry, that's the wrong one. Put it till you take four damage. Born you take four damage. Super Steve takes one. Bethel takes one. And Nigel takes one. That's their turn. <clears throat> so yeah, what's the rest of you doing? Do you want me to go before you do? Well technically I... it would be Nigel first. Yeah. You go first anyway. I mean, 17 to hit. Yeah. Hits. 16 damage. You crush it. Yep. Like none other. And the little pink smoke puffs out again. I want to punch Alorus in the face. Okay. You can do that. All right. What is that? Just roll to hit and then... Yeah. Strength. I don't... I miss. (laughs) Okay. I'm short. You run up... (laughs) To punch Aloris in the face. And she sees what you're doing. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. And then as you go to punch, you just bloop, blink out of existence and you're no longer there anymore. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> and at that point. Where's that panther? <laughs> the panther's gone too. It's weird. Where'd that panther go? <laughs> and at that point, I think we're going to call it. That's our farewell to Potato. Really? You're not dead. You just blinked someplace else so she just teleported me she somewhere. teleported you someplace random by accident hmm as like a defense like ah don't hit me go on you go you could have died a horrible death true instead you can always return later yeah. I mean yeah. I could with fix with a that. gigantic <laughs> army of halflings behind you <laughs> and panthers <laughs> and panthers and and save the day thousand spring feral panthers <laughs> Well, thanks again for listening to another episode of Botched. If you like what you hear, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at botchpodcast.com. Uh, if you feel like donating to the show, you can go to our website, botchpodcast.com. If you don't have any extra money, you the best way to help us out is to go to iTunes and give us a five-star review, like our friend Noverton. Do you want to do, like, a sacrifice? Or... I mean, I mean, you can always sacrifice an animal. You can or... do some bad things to animals, too. Let's do some bad things to something. I like taste them. Really Eat them. It's good too. Oh yeah. yeah. Lizards. <laughs> Dragons. Let's taste See you next week, yeah, well, Thanks again for listening. I'm gonna miss you guys. See you guys. See ya.